welcome, Miller Safe and Tights TV. Um, what a win back were against Fleetwood. A tricky, tricky game uh, under conditions. We'll get back to, you know, stuff about about the Fleetwood game. So well, thanks for joining. Uh, as always, it's all about like opinions and that. Leave your comments and everything uh, below. Um, I will reply back to them. So getting back to the game, uh, lineup were interesting uh, for sure. Really interesting lineup. Um, me and Ryan called it out, but running about putting pines in, you know, back in back three, willing to play right wing back. It weren't pines, but McCart came in and was willing to go right wing back. So we'll take one out of two on that one. But getting back to it, I think we could see what effect Williams could do down right wing area. It was interesting to see how uh, players adapted as well. Because when you look at like the central defenders, I've like all moved over one kind of thing. Yadil, McCart, and De Givney for Sudo, you know, the, uh, moved over. I thought it looked a lot more assured. Um, I thought Williams. I thought Williams had a, a better game playing in that favoured position. It hadn't been a bit of a miss for me, if I'm being honest. But again, I'm not being all too critical. Now and again, we had uh, got in some good positions and wasted ball. Winning midfield, great to see Luke Connell uh, back. He picked up that injury, you know, that bit of a niggle, obviously missing the Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury Town game in midweek. But Phillips, yet again, um, is it a rich vein of form and hope it continues. Going from last weekend, we really, you know, Cropped up two goals, he got two assists in this game. Uh, so again, it is just show what that bit of confidence does. The player that we kind of know that Phillips, you know, can be, and is now proven. And I think he's probably coming at right stage of the season when, you know, uh, we're in the second half, <clears throat> matter of months, what was it 15, 14 games left? Uh, so it's going to be, you know, going to be one to be put in form. Uh, Phillips definitely one of them. And interesting to see Cosgrove up front with Cole. Kind of mm, wondered how and why. And I think looking at state at pitch, um, it, <laughs> I think it was a wise move by Collins. And it, you know, it, it were a, you know, if that were a managerial thing, it were a massive stroke where he pulled off. I thought Cosgrove. Helped ball up well, Bruce in the back, made it awkward, which we know he can do. And he, he, he got a goal. I think it's only his second this season. But an important one, where it, what conditions, we all know what conditions were like. The fans that went there, fair play, you know, in, in stand, looking it down with rain, getting wet through. But, you know, I suppose when we win, it makes it that bit more better. Rather than a loss or a defeat, it's a bit, a bit of a damp squib day, but fair play to the fans. Game behind the team, as always, great following. Um, so just going back to back to the game, it's an in general. I thought we adapted well. I believe we had some chances, you know, but to be fair, I thought we played more expressive football than last season. I thought we were a bit more of a threat. That's under Chalad and you know, Gaffer there, I don't know. Be off, trying to offer a bit more attack threat, uh, maybe because uh, you know in bottom three we've got to go for it. It you know might have been different if it had been mid table. But Cosgrove, good goal by them. By the way, I thought uh, efforts were okay. I don't think you know it, it would have it would a great strike. You know, it was a good finish by them. One apiece. Went into half time and and to be fair, I, I I still thought one more from Barnley to come. Uh, just we are set up and playing. I was set up and playing. It just seemed to be more to come, and I thought when I came slotted it away. I thought it was a great counter. You know, the the play the uh, the ball well on ground. It would pass, 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 and and like I said on on pitch what 
you know, in areas it did look bad. But I think we adapted since pretty well to it. Great to see Donovan Pines come on. I thought another another positive view of all Pines coming on. And actually he looked a commanding figure when he came on, to be fair. I mean he looked a you know absolute unit when he comes on. So again, nice having some game time eventually in first team. I know we've been playing it on the twenty ones and back. Ended with the basics, he cleared it, you know. Trying to rally troops, you know, he came on, chasing running down. So again, it were another another for me substitution that were right at the right time. Uh, closing down, pressing down, offer something different to Cosgrove, which we all know what McAtee does. A bit more of a threat for us. And you know, you go through the team, you think, yeah, do you know what? That were a the result be that on the day if we weren't really clued on, we weren't switched on, we weren't taking game to them, it could have been another disappointing drab draw or possibly, you know, narrowest a, a defeat. So I went for 3-1, it was 2-1, but I'll take that all day long. <clears throat> I'm just trying to think any, you know, any worries, any concerns about what I saw there, but I'm thinking, no, you know, it was, I think, a decent 11, starting 11. A few changes, you know, Cosgrove, McAtee, but again, good options, but then it leaves you on the bench and you see the players coming off now, such as like McAtee. You've got Pines. You, you, you're starting to get a bit more competition in certain places. You think, yeah, you know, we've got a bit of a game changer here. The cart came back into into the side. So again, we start to get numbers via Robert, uh, Jordan Williams, right wing back. So for me, was it was it a result that we deserved? I think an overall player, yeah, it was. You know, not being, you know, I don't think I'm being disrespectful to Fleetwood, but I think I've, I've done, you know, we could to the sons, uh, you know, right. We took the game to us uh, to Fleetwood. We imposed our play. We did want counter. We did what we had to do. In you know, poor conditions, weather, and um, you know, pitch one great. Like I said. I think this, you know, a no midweek game now will get players enough time to rest, just work on the stuff on, on the training ground, what needs to be done, big game coming up, as we all know, against Derby. So I think this has just come right. We're probably disappointing in midweek against Rosebury, you know, result-wise, 1-1. One, one. But, again, it's undefeated. So I won't be taking back into the Derby game. I don't think there is any injury concerns from the game. So now it's time for players, you know, just to chill, work on basics in, in training, work on set pieces, do what you need to do. Great gesture back club, by the way, through uh, midweek with the players and the staff, engaging with fans. Great to see fans here, 800 plus here. Uh, getting autographs, pictures signed by players. So, fair play. Uh, that million kills, not on the channel. It, uh, it's his birthday. Birthday today. Um, and what club have done for him? Regards, McAtee and Luke Connell, his personal birthday message. Luke Connell giving him his uh, match one shirt at the Fleetwood game. That's what um, the club mean to. Young kids and fair play. Um, I mean, big, uh, you know, big kid at art and something like that. If that happened to me, I'd be like so appreciate, appreciative. And you you take it very humbly, but it's like, well, what's my, what's made your day? Um, great gesture by a club on a personal thing for a, for a young kid. And long may it continue. I hope there's more of these training sessions where they open it up for. You know, for fans to engage, uh, young and old, uh, young and old, and you know, back on the ground, it regards where I'll have to uh, try and met one as well because it does mean, you know, the club are going, you know, getting back to the community. That's that bond and life blood. Uh, club is like the young fans as well. Again, you engage in that. So fair play to club 
and they're not killing so appreciative about the uh, the match ball shirt and the gestures by Bounds players. So thanks everybody at Bounds FC for that. It really means a lot. So my man at match, I think just be his work ratings to assist and it I'm gonna give it to Adam Phillips. Again, there are a lot of positives on that pitch. Uh, I think we game managed it well, did what we had to do. We got the win, we got the result. Performance, I thought it deserved it. Uh, get back to Yorkshire, sitting healthy in the league. Some of the results went his, his way as well, so that made it you know a bit better. So again, dust your sons down, refocus, refresh, and we're going to dive the game. Let me know your thoughts and comments as well below. Did you manage to get to the, uh, the open day for the fans for the training session? Uh, if so, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Club should be doing uh, more in, uh, on a more regular basis. Uh, that's the feedback I'm getting anyway as well. But we really enjoyed it and we hope there's going to be many more of it. We've got a win. The fourth in league. Going on to a big game next weekend. So this weekend's, uh, yeah, it's all right, isn't it? Makes it even better when, when it comes away we a win. So I'll take that all day long. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Uh, so I'll get geared up for Derby. It's met uh, Oakwell Fortress. Leave your comments below. Please like, subscribe and share. Thank you for all my patrons and sponsors as well. It really means a lot. One thing I have to say, you Reds.